Good evening, everyone. Now, it's been a bit of a mixed week for us. We had our loss against Leicester, but we had our, our amazing win against Sunderland at the weekend. So we're bringing you five things that we learned from both of those games. Starting off, I'd like to point out that we have been, we showed great resilience and great bounce back ability. Sorry to use that word, but great, great bounce back ability uh, since our, our loss against Leicester to come away and get a 4-1 win against Sunderland, especially the way in which we, we got the win against Sunderland. We went a goal down just before half time, managed to get a goal back within 21 seconds. And just before half time, that's the perfect time to score. Poch must have said a few great things at half time. And we come out and we absolutely trans transformed in the second half and it was great. So for a team that's drawn nine times from winning positions over the season, it just goes to show that we, well, hopefully goes to show that we can, we can now push on and start to, to get that belief in us, get goals and start killing games off. So point one is our resilience. Point number two is how much we missed Moussa Dembele. Now Tom Carroll did a job in the middle whilst Moussa was out injured, but having him back just goes to show how much the bloke makes the team tick. He was a bit sloppy against Sunderland in the first half, but he managed to bring his game back round and in the second half he absolutely bossed it. It just goes to show how much more confident we are as a team with him in the middle. So point number two has to be how much we missed Moussa Dembele. Point number three is whether Jan and Toby are still the best centre-back partnership in the Premier League. In my opinion, I would have to say yes. Against Sunderland, the pair looked solid. Toby Alderweireld's tackling is spot on every time. Admittedly, over the last few games, there's been a few questions about our defending in set pieces. But against Sunderland, they brought it back and they just looked so strong. And it's just good to have them back on form. Point number four is whether Christian Eriksen is better off in a number 10 role. Now, it's been well documented that Eriksen went to see Pochettino midweek to discuss the possibility of having more minutes in a number 10 role. And we know that Pochettino likes playing him on the left-hand side. But against Sunderland, when he was drifting in, he looked dangerous. And in fact, his, one of his goals came from that position when he cut in and had a shot from long range. So he can be world-class in a, a number 10 role as well. Is he better off in a number 10 role? In my opinion, yes. But then you have to think about who do you put on the left? Where do you play other players? It's a bit of a pickle. But playing players to their strengths. Ericsson is a man who can do a job on the left, but I think he's stronger in a number 10 role behind the striker. Let us know your comments. If you disagree with me, then make sure to obviously comment in the uh, comment section below. So point number four, Ericsson, is he better off in a number 10 position? Let us know your thoughts. Fifth point today is who should be our designated right back. Now, a lot of people are pro Trippier, a lot of people are pro Carl Walker. But looking at the stats that I've got from our friend Nick at Squawker, there's, there's not much to separate the two. Now, we all big up Trippier for his great crossing, but this season he's only completed 18.4% of crosses in all the minutes that he's played. And that's compared to 15% of Carl Walker. Now, other stats including tackles, Carl Walker is by far better. Yes, he's prone to silly errors, but so is Kieran Trippier. And they've both committed a similar number of fouls, and yes, they are in silly areas, and we need to cut that out. But I would side for Kyle Walker purely because he's a better defender, and that's what we need in a right back. Now, also to add to that, the two goal, a goal at the weekend from Sunderland, Van Arnholt's goal, came down the right hand side when Trippier was playing, and also Okazaki's goal when we played Leicester came down the right hand side, both through switching off. Now, is that something that we want every week? No. And yes, they are both prone to switching off, but. I sort of think that Kyle Walker tips it there. So that's point number five. Uh, if you've got any comments, I'm sure you will about that last one, maybe. Who do you think should be our right back, Kyle Walker or Kieran Trippier? Also, if you want to comment on any of the other points, then make sure you do. Make sure to give the video a like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also make sure to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. So welcome to part two of our transfer talk with Mr. Stobart here. If you haven't seen part one, 